Hey there, Catastic Animals Explorers. Today's topic is one of the most fascinating animals on Earth, the giant panda. By the end of this video, you'll know all about what kind of animal pandas are, where they live, what they eat, how they raise their babies, and why they're so important to our planet. But before we get started, here's a fun game you can play throughout this video. Pandas have very few predators in the wild. We'll learn more about that later, but for now, see if you can find these three panda predator stickers hiding in the video. Before you start looking, if you're not already a Kidtastic Animals Explorer, hit that subscribe button and become part of the Kidtastic Animals Explorers crew. Okay, let's go! First, let's talk about what pandas are. Giant pandas, also called Aluropoda melanoleuca, belong to the bear family, which is called Ursidae. So yes, pandas are bears, but they're very different from most other bears. While most bears are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and animals, pandas are almost completely herbivores. Scientists even consider pandas a living fossil because their ancestors lived more than two million years ago. Isn't that amazing? Pandas are native to China, and they live in a very specific type of environment, bamboo forests and mountainous areas. You'll find them in central China, in provinces like Sichuan, Gansu, and Shanxi. These regions are cool, misty, and filled with bamboo, the perfect home for pandas. But why bamboo? Let's find out. Pandas are bamboo specialists. Even though their digestive system is built for eating meat, They've adapted over thousands of years to eat mostly bamboo. Bamboo makes up about 99% of their diet. But because bamboo doesn't have a lot of nutrients, pandas need to eat a lot, up to 40 pounds every day. To do that, pandas have a special adaptation, an extra thumb-like bone that helps them grip bamboo stalks. It's like having chopsticks built right into their paws. Now let's talk about panda babies, or cubs. When pandas are born, they're incredibly small, only about the size of a stick of butter. They're also pink, blind, and completely dependent on their mothers. A newborn panda weighs about 1 900th the size of its mother, but they grow quickly. And by the time they're about six months old, they're ready to start climbing trees and munching on bamboo leaves. Pandas are solitary animals, so once cubs are about two years old, they leave their mothers and live on their own. Do pandas have any natural enemies in the wild? The answer is yes, but not many. Adult giant pandas are pretty big and can weigh up to 300 pounds, so they don't have a lot of predators. However, their cubs, which are tiny and vulnerable, can be hunted by predators like leopards, jackals, and birds of prey. That's why mother pandas are extremely protective of their babies. Let's take a quick break for some fun facts about pandas. Did you know that pandas have round faces because of their powerful chewing muscles? They need strong jaws to crush bamboo. A panda's black and white fur isn't just for looks. The white helps them blend into snowy mountain areas and the black patches help them hide in forests. Pandas are excellent climbers and they can even swim. These skills help them escape predators like leopards. And here's a wild one. Pandas can spend up to 16 hours a day eating. Imagine spending all day just eating your favorite snack. Now let's get serious for a moment. Did you know that pandas are classified as a vulnerable species? There are only about 1,800 pandas left in the wild. Habitat loss is a big problem because bamboo forests are being cut down for farming and construction. But thanks to conservation efforts, like creating panda reserves and breeding programs, their numbers are slowly increasing. Pandas are also important for their ecosystem. They help bamboo forests grow by spreading seeds when they eat and move around. This helps other animals that live in the same forests, like golden monkeys and red pandas. Pandas are also fascinating to scientists. They're an example of how animals can adapt to survive. Even though their bodies are designed for a carnivorous diet, they've managed to live almost entirely on plants. Studying pandas helps scientists learn more about evolution, ecology, and how we can better protect other endangered species. So what have we learned today? Pandas are unique bears that live in the bamboo forests of China. 
They've adapted to a plant-based diet, raise tiny cubs that grow up quickly, and play a vital role in their environment. Plus, they're just really cool animals. Well, that's all for today, Kidtastic Animals Explorers. I hope you had fun learning all about pandas. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe so Kidtastic Animals can thrive.